Tesla made a huge splash in the solar panel world when they unveiled the latest version of the Tesla solar roof. But since then, we haven't seen too much about it. Is it a bargain or a bust? Or are solar tiles about to go mainstream? I'm Matt Farrell. Welcome to Undecided. When Tesla unveiled version 3 of the Tesla solar roof in October of 2019, it caught a lot of our attention. They spent a great deal of time and effort to refine the installation process to make it faster and more affordable to install, like larger tiles to increase efficiency and manufacturing costs, as well as reducing the number of parts needed to install it by half. In the end, it's reduced the overall cost of installing a Tesla solar roof by about 40%. But since that announcement, there hasn't been much said about it. We've seen some customers sharing their experiences online, but I've been really curious about what it's been like to install them. So I reached out to a roofing company that's doing just that. Elon had mentioned during the announcement that they were most likely going to ramp up a partner program to bring installers into the fold to support the rollout. I had a chance to speak to Eric Weddle from Weddle & Sons Roofing, who's the CFO and head of their Colorado operations and one of Tesla's partners. Everything's still kind of a pilot with our relationship um, because we've been one of the early, early entrants, the way that the way that we work with them now may not be the way that we work with them forever. You know, initially they shared some leads with us that had been kind of sitting in their queue for a long time in territory in Kansas, Nebraska, where they had no direct uh, presence. So they've kind of been experimenting with redirecting people to us that are in our territory. As a roofing company, it was interesting to hear what their training was like and how well thought out it was. The first week was a classroom, kind of classroom warehouse based. So, you know, as a team, we would sit and and work through kind of installation stuff, and then we would go out into the warehouse adjacent and practice on those things. Then you go out, and they have two test houses built on site in the corner of their Fremont car factory on Cato Road um, under a tent, which was nice. And we just did a did a full scale installation. To me, the most interesting part of this is that you expect solar installers to be the prime candidate for taking on a solar roof installation. But installing a roof is a completely different skill set from installing solar panels in somebody's roof. On that front, it gives companies like Weddell & Sons a bit of an edge. We have so much to learn and we're still learning. We don't claim to be experts in the, the solar side of things. I felt like this product and this system just installation wise, it's a better fit for a roofing company just because there's so much detailed metal work. The, the trims and the flashings and, and the waterproofing are, are just critical. You know, once it's down, you don't want to be pulling that up. I felt like it was a really good fit for our company as roofers. Solar tile products like the solar roof are still very new, not just to customers, but to the industry at large. Tesla isn't the only game in town here, though. There are solar tile products from companies like Del Sol Power and Luma Solar. There are some distinct differences between the systems, though. On the aesthetics front, the Del Sol product doesn't mask the look of the solar cell much at all. You can clearly see the shiny reflective cells within those tiles, so you get a lower profile, consistent shape, but not color. The Luma Solar product looks far more consistent in color, but the solar cells are still very noticeable. And that's where Tesla stands out from the pack, because they've spent a good deal of time and energy figuring out how to make their tiles blending closely. On the announcement call, they actually spoke to that point. Solar cells are optically isotropic, meaning it can look purple from one angle and green from another. And we have, through a number of different iterations and technology experiments, uh, landed on a technology that gets the solar tiles to the point where they're anisotropic. So they blend in with the surrounding uh, non-solar tiles in the trim. They look the same from any angle. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but just as impressive as that is the cost differences between the systems. Based on an assessment from Solar Power World, the solar roof costs about $2.11 per installed watt, while Del Sol Power Tiles cost about $7 per installed watt, and Luma Solar Tiles cost about $4.50 per installed watt. Just comparing Tesla's own prices between regular panels and solar roof, you can see that there's still a sizable gap in per installed watt prices. We're talking about the difference between $1.49 versus $2.11, but that's after incentives, and the incentives are currently changing here in the United States, so those prices might actually be going up a little bit. It's pretty clear that if you're happy with your roof, you're not gonna wanna replace it with a solar roof. Going with regular panels is the obvious choice in that case. But what if you're replacing your roof or building a new home? How does the price compare to roofing costs? On that, Eric has some really nice insights. It's substantially more than a, than a basic asphalt roof. It's probably five times the cost of a, 
asphalt roof. Maybe let's call it four times the cost of a standard asphalt roof on a typical home. But it's not four times the cost of asphalt plus PV. But if you start to compare it to a premium roof product, like a standing seam metal, a synthetic shake or slate, which we do a lot of. We do a lot of, it's uh, Da Vinci's a common name. They do a really nice synthetic slate product. It compares really favorably to a premium roof plus solar panels. It's pretty comparable in cost. It's, it's a little bit more than like a synthetic shake or synthetic slate, but the synthetic product doesn't have the, the PV built in. It's getting close to those premium roof products. It's certainly premium roof plus panels compares very favorably. Ben Sullins put together a great price breakdown last spring between the different options. Based on his search criteria, he found that the Tesla solar roof would cost about $56,000. Now compare that to a solar array and a shingle roof at $42,000, or a solar array and a metal roof at $70,000, or a solar array and a tile roof at $111,000, or the big one, a solar array and a slate roof at $134,000. So just from a roofing cost comparison, even without the added solar, the solar roof is already fairly competitive with higher end roofing materials. But when combining higher end roofs plus solar, Tesla's solar roof is an incredibly compelling offer. But Eric brought up a point that I hadn't considered. It's a similar point that EV enthusiasts bring up when comparing EV cars to gas cars, cost of maintenance. This is something that has always bothered me working in Colorado. We would have asphalt roofs that get hailed out and have to be replaced. You incur a pretty significant cost if they've already got panels. It's pretty costly to have those panels pulled, stored, do the roof, get the inspections, put the panels back on. When you start to take into account that this product should hold up really well to impacts, should age well, you know, it has a 25 year warranty from Tesla. And, and from what I've seen, I mean, I, I expect it to last that long. You know, if you start to compare it to an asphalt roof that only lasts 10 or 15 years, suddenly it, it actually, even the economics of that start to work out. But just how durable are solar roof tiles? I get the question about regular solar panel durability a lot from people that are considering going solar, like how well they'll stand up to hail and the other elements. Well, tempered glass is actually really strong. I mean, I think they're pretty amazing. I, I've got one here. So this is a, this is a glass. This is one of the glass ones. It's not an active PV. You can kind of see the, I don't wow. know what the thickness is. It's about a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch or something. Um, you know, we'll walk on these all day long. You can jump on, we'll drop stuff on them. You know, I can kind of, I can, you know, it can pound on it. It's glass. I wouldn't do that on one of my windows even if it said it was tempered. <laughs> Add to that the modularity of the tiles. It's like Lego blocks snapping into place. So the modularity makes it easier to repair. So if you break one of these tiles, all you have to do, because they're tempered, they just shatter into pretty safe size of pieces. You just take a shop vac, you vacuum it up, you slap in a new tile. You know, the clips, the clips that they hang on, uh, you know, there's just, there's a slot to, to hold a clip and there's, there's hangers. Super easy to pop one out, pop a new one in. As a roofer, I really like that because I see roofs that get replaced, asphalt roofs that get replaced all the time because they've got, you know, X number of impacts and it's not practical to go replace 20 or 30 shingles. You know, with solar roof, maybe you do have a massive hailstorm. Maybe it knocks out, you know, 30 or 40 tiles. Vastly cheaper to repair that than replace it. I mean, all of the work is done underneath the tiles once the layout's done, the tiles just snap in. So I envision that repairability is actually going to be a real advantage going forward. In the end, the solar roof may prove to be cheaper to maintain and repair than other roofing materials. So that's something you should factor into the cost depending on where you live, especially if you live in an area with hail. But the modularity benefit doesn't stop there. On my brother's roof, we, we made some wiring mistakes just because we're so early. We were ahead of the, the training documentation. And so we're in the process of, of fixing that. And it's been a good, it's been a good uh, case study actually in the repairability. It's, it's actually been pretty easy to go back and pop up a section of, in fact, we actually popped up a section of his dummy tiles and moved or replaced them with, with active PV tiles after the fact. Uh, it was really easy. We use almost all the same clips. 
That's right, they expanded the PV system of the roof. It's pretty plug and play in that regard. Now this isn't something that Tesla's speaking of as a selling point, but it's pretty cool that you could theoretically add to or upgrade tiles down the road. But much like everything else in the world, you have to follow the money. Affordability and price competitiveness is the only way forward for solar tiles to catch on and go truly mainstream. Elon's goal is to make the solar roof truly a competitive product with asphalt shingles and solar panels. One area to drive that cost down is on installation. And Eric had a take on that from an installer's point of view too. There's a point at which it becomes a very attractive segment for us and that it, it really comes down to the days to install. And so, you know, something that takes us four days on paper, it may turn a profit, but it's, but the opportunity cost is pretty high. We could have done better things those four days. If we can get that down to two days, it suddenly becomes a really attractive segment for us. There's already a lot of pent up demand for solar roof at its current price point. People have been reporting long wait times to get one installed, and Eric has a long wait list of his own. You know, you ask what the challenges are. I mean, other challenges, we're sitting on probably 200 requests that were a, a backlog of probably 200 or more requests for um, quotes. That's 200 requests just for the area that Weddell and Sons Roofing serves. Roll that kind of demand out across the country and the world, and you could see that Tesla is really onto something here. Just imagine how much that demand will ramp up as they continue to drive the cost down even further. From a customer's point of view, I think the solar roof is on the verge of going mainstream. And from an installer's point of view... Yeah, we like the challenge. And, and honestly, we've had a great relationship with Tesla, and they're, you know, they're trying to do something very hard, and they have a track record of doing a lot of very hard things. And so every time that I'm feeling skeptical about something, I just, I remember, like, the same guy behind this landed rockets you know, <laughs> vertically. I think they can figure this out. At least I don't think I want to bet against it. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. I'd really like to thank Eric Weddle and Matt Heflin from Weddle and Sons Roofing for their time and some of the great video shots that you saw in the video. Now jump into the comments and let me know if you're chomping at the bit to get solar roof. If you like this video, be sure to check out one of the ones I have linked to right here. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you think I've earned it. And as always, thanks to all of my patrons and new producer, Craig Cooper for all of your support. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.